He is known for his critiques of philosophic rationalism and positivism. He is recognized for advocating a movement beyond reason and metaphysics. He is Lev Shestov, a Russian existentialist and religious philosopher. Lev Isakovich Shestov, born Yehuda Leib Schwarzman, was a philosophical maverick who dared to question the foundations of reason and metaphysics. In his pursuit of truth, Shestov advocated for a radical departure from the confines of traditional philosophy, arguing that it was incapable of definitively answering the profound questions that plagued humanity. Born in Russia, Shestov's philosophical journey led him to critically analyze the works of influential thinkers such as Friedrich Nietzsche and Soren Kierkegaard. He also delved into the realm of literature, examining the works of renowned Russian writers like Fyodor Dostoevsky, Leo Tolstoy, and Anton Chekhov. Shestov's writings challenged the prevailing notions of rationalism and positivism, asserting that they were insufficient in addressing the ultimate mysteries of existence and the nature of God. His philosophical stance, often labeled as anti-philosophy, sought to transcend traditional intellectual frameworks and embrace a more intuitive and subjective approach to understanding the world. After emigrating to France in 1921, Shestov found himself in the company of fellow intellectuals and philosophers such as Edmund Husserl, Benjamin Fondane, Rachel Bespaloff, and Georges Bataille. His ideas left a lasting impact on these thinkers, influencing their own philosophical inquiries. Lev Shestov's life was a testament to his unwavering pursuit of truth and his refusal to accept conventional wisdom. His legacy continues to inspire those who dare to question the boundaries of reason, inviting them to explore the profound mysteries of existence from a fresh perspective. Lev Shestov, a renowned philosopher, had a unique perspective on reason and its limitations. He believed that reason should not be deified, but rather, rationalism and scientism should be challenged. Shestov recognized that many philosophers viewed reason as an all-knowing and all-powerful entity, but he saw this as a result of their fear of an unpredictable and dangerous God. This fear led them to elevate reason to a level that opposes life and the absolute. Shestov's critique of reason was not a rejection of science or reason itself, but rather a rejection of the belief that reason could provide eternal and unchangeable truths. He pointed to philosophers such as Aristotle, Spinoza, Leibniz, Kant, and Hegel, who believed in a mechanistic and rational understanding of the world, constraining even God by logical necessity. Shestov saw this as a flaw in Western philosophy, as it deified reason and limited the absolute. He countered that the notion of God implies that there is nothing that is impossible, and therefore reason should not be seen as the ultimate authority. According to Shestov, seeking conclusive knowledge through reason is futile. He argued that we are all alone with our experiences and suffering, and philosophical systems cannot provide the answers we seek. True philosophy, in his view, involves thinking beyond the limits of prescribed reason and necessity. It can only begin when all possibilities have been exhausted, and we confront the wall of impossibility. Shestov student, Benjamin Fondane, added that genuine reality begins beyond the limits of the logically impossible, once every humanly thinkable certainty and probability has proven its impossibility. Shestov's critique of reason challenges us to question the limitations of our own thinking. It reminds us that there are aspects of life and existence that cannot be grasped through reason alone. By embracing the idea that some truths may lie beyond the reach of reason, we open ourselves up to new perspectives and possibilities. Shestov's philosophy encourages us to think independently and against the confines of prescribed reason, allowing us to navigate the complexities of daily life with a more open and flexible mindset. Lev Shestov, a prominent philosopher, embarked on a philosophical journey that began with an experience he called despair. For him, despair represented the loss of certainties, freedom, and the meaning of life. It was rooted in what he referred to as necessity, reason, idealism, or fate, a way of thinking that prioritized ideas and abstractions over the uniqueness and vitality of reality. However, Shestov believed that despair was not the final word, it was merely the penultimate word. He argued that the ultimate word could not be expressed through human language or captured in theory. His philosophy, though rooted in despair, aimed to transcend it and explore something beyond, something he referred to as faith. For Shestov, faith was not about blind belief or certainty. It was a different mode of thinking that emerged amidst profound doubt and insecurity. It was the realization that everything is possible, that the opposite of necessity is not chance or accident, but possibility. It was the recognition of a God-given freedom without boundaries, walls, or borders. Despite being a Jewish philosopher, Shestov found in the resurrection of Christ a victory over necessity. He saw the incarnation and resurrection of Jesus as a transformative spectacle, demonstrating that the purpose of life was not to surrender mystically to the Absolute, but to engage in ascetical struggle. He believed that no decision was too difficult and that it was worth enduring any hardship to avoid remaining in the womb of the One, 
the blissful yet stagnant state of the ideal being. In his final work, Athens and Jerusalem, Shestov concluded with the words, philosophy is not besinnen but struggle. And this struggle has no end and will have no end. The kingdom of God, as it is written, is attained through violence. These words encapsulated his belief that philosophy was not about contemplation alone but about active, ongoing struggle. He emphasized that this struggle had no final resolution and that the attainment of the kingdom of God required relentless efforts. Lev Shestov's philosophy, rooted in despair and driven by faith, reminds us that life is not confined to certainties or predetermined paths. It encourages us to embrace the possibilities that lie beyond our limitations and to engage in a constant struggle for personal growth and the realization of our potential. By recognizing that everything is possible and that freedom knows no bounds, we can navigate the challenges of daily life with resilience and a renewed sense of purpose. Lev Shestov, a philosopher revered by many, had a profound impact on the intellectual landscape of his time. Nikolai Berdyaev, Sergei Bulgakov, and Hillel Zeitlin, among others, admired and honored his work. However, today, Shestov remains relatively unknown in the English-speaking world, partly due to the limited availability of his writings and the unfashionable nature of the themes he explored. Shestov's writings exude a somber yet ecstatic atmosphere, combining a quasi-nihilistic perspective with a profound religious outlook. This unique combination unsettles and intrigues readers at first glance. Despite his relative obscurity, Chester's ideas have influenced notable writers such as Albert Camus, Benjamin Fondane, Paul Celan, and Emile Charon. Charon, in particular, considered Chester as the philosopher of their generation, one that yearned for spiritual realization but remained nostalgic about it. Charon believed that Chester rightly recognized that true problems escape the grasp of philosophers, who often obscure the real torments of life rather than confront them head-on. This sentiment resonated deeply with Choron and played a significant role in shaping his own philosophical outlook. Shestov's influence extends beyond Choron. He is also referenced by Gillis de Luz in his works on Nietzsche and philosophy, as well as indifference and repetition. Moreover, Leo Strauss engaged with Shestov's ideas in his essay, Jerusalem and Athens, offering a response to Shestov's, Athens and Jerusalem. More recently, scholars like Bernard Martin and Liza Knapp have found solace in Shestov's rebellion against rational self-consistency and self-evident truths. Martin, who translated Shestov's works, recognized the value of his battle against the confines of reason. Knapp, in her book, The Annihilation of Inertia, Dostoevsky in Metaphysics, explores Dostoevsky's struggle against the self-evident, wall, and references Shestov's ideas throughout. Even George Buttley, according to Michael Richardson's research, was influenced by Shestov's radical views on theology in his introduction to the philosophy of Nietzsche. Shestov's ideas likely played a role in shaping Buttley's own thoughts on extreme human behavior and the limits of conventional thinking. In conclusion, Lev Shestov's philosophy, though relatively unknown in the English-speaking world, has left an indelible mark on thinkers and writers throughout history. His unique combination of quasi-nihilism and religious fervor continues to captivate and challenge readers, offering a different perspective on the true problems of life that often elude traditional philosophical frameworks. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.